Hi guys, how's it going? So how far are we exactly from this very famous movie with Bruce Willis as he controls robots using virtual reality? This is today's topic, really exciting stuff. All right, let's dive in. Thank you so much for going to our merch store lately for purchasing some of the items. You guys are really awesome. We have some really cool items with the Octopus playing Beat Saber and Jaws in VR. Go and check it out. Link in the description below the like button for more info. Welcome back to VR Essentials where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and where you can get your weekly dose of VR educational entertainment. If you're new to the channel, very nice to meet you. And of course, a huge welcome back to all our regular subscribers. It's always awesome to have you with us. Surrogates is not a concept that's very far off and already there's a guy in Japan who's using virtual reality to control a robot inside of his shop at a social distance. That is already pretty amazing. Japan with his population going through some kind of a crisis because it's diminishing as the years go by and they really have to find new ways in order to fill the gap in the labor force. The robot, which is called Model T, has been developed by a company called Telexistence. And in the video, the person is actually sitting five miles or eight kilometers away from the shop. And then what you can see is basically he's stocking up the drinks. So this is pretty awesome, especially of course, with COVID-19, things are a little bit iffy and social distancing is very much in the buzz at the moment. Or if you have 17,000 US dollars, why not get yourself a really cute robot which was developed by Pollen Robotics and unveiled at CES last year. As you can see, you can pick up some objects, you can play some games, or why not just you know use a robot to cook up your meals inside of the microwave. And I'm pretty sure that for that price, I'm hoping that the Valve Index would come inclusive as well. There seems to be multiple different ways that you can control robots at a distance. For example, this kid here for his bachelor's of science used a Kinect camera to remotely control a humanoid. I think that is pretty amazing considering this was also a few years ago now. By the way, don't miss future videos as we upload more stories like this one to the channel quite regularly. Do be part of the notification squad by enabling the notification bell after you subscribe. And if you want to learn how to control, for example, a remote control car with your VR headset, then head on down to this YouTube channel as this guy teaches you how to do just that. As virtual reality technology expands, it's going to offer more and more options for mankind. Not only is this technology going to enable people, for example, firefighters to be able to conduct their dangerous tasks from a safe distance, but also, for example, paraplegics or people who are not able to do certain things because they simply aren't able to. And let's not forget that a few weeks ago, it was announced that 4G will be installed on the moon, which means that people who go on the moon will have the internet. So there's no reason why, for example, people who are on Earth will be able to pilot robots on the moon using virtual reality. Japan is leading the way at the moment with robotics. Let's not forget that they have the world's most advanced robot called Asimo, who I really would love to be able to control that robot using virtual reality. We're new. So it's clear that there's different technology available to control robots using virtual reality. But how far are we from surrogates? Do you think this is going to happen in our lifetime or perhaps take a couple hundred years? Leave a comment below. I'd love to give your feedback on this. 